Former Prime Minister Kevin Rudd has announced he's leaving Parliament and his career in politics will end this week. After 15 years in Parliament, Mr Rudd has called it a day, receiving warm tributes from friends and political foes. So let's go live now to Canberra to our Chief Political Reporter Kieran Gilbert. Kieran, a really a surprise move last night and a very emotional former PM. Well, Kevin Rudd might have thought about it briefly on election night to uh, stay on as the Labor leader, but two months on, Nina, and as you say, 15 years on in his parliamentary career, after some enormous highs and some shattering lows, Kevin Rudd has decided to call it a day, and it's time for him to end his political career, which will wrap up at the end of this week. As parliamentarians, we might say we become inured to all of this, although I doubt it. <clears throat> For our families, however, I believe it becomes harder, not easier, with the passing of the years, and it affects their ability to get on building their own lives and careers as well. Uh, my family have given uh, their all for me in public life, and for the nation. And it's now time <clears throat> I gave something back to them. This has been the product of uh, much soul searching for us as a family over the last several months. And the decision that I have made has not been taken lightly particularly given the deep attachment I have for the community I've proudly represented in this place these last 15 years. But for me, my family is everything, always has been, always will be, which is why I will not be continuing as a member of this parliament beyond this week. I also believe, Deputy Speaker, it was right and proper that I report my decision to the parliament at the earliest opportunity. And that day is today. And I've chosen to do so now to create minimal disruptions to the normal proceedings of the House. Now, the former Prime Minister cited the 2008 apology to Indigenous Australians as the highlight of his political career. It was something that the, the Prime Minister, Tony Abbott, also cited in his gracious tribute to his predecessor. One of a number of uh, very warm uh, tributes paid by the other side of politics last night. In reference uh, to the member for Griffith, that it does take an extraordinary person to lead an extraordinary country. And uh, the member for Griffith won an election uh, which uh, uh, pitted him against the person whom I believe to have been the most <coughs> successful Prime Minister uh, in modern Australian times. And it takes uh, extraordinary ability, uh, insight, guts and focus to win such a contest. And he didn't just win uh, that contest in 2007, he triumphed. He absolutely triumphed uh, in that contest, and we must pay tribute to someone of such stature. You know, uh, the member for Griffith has had the extreme experiences of public life over the last few years. It's very few of us that actually get the opportunity to see someone come in as a new member to serve as Prime Minister and to leave. It's very, very rare. But we have witnessed an extraordinary career. The betrayal of you as leader of your party was one of the most shocking events I've ever witnessed, and I, I would think, Madam Speaker, any of us have ever witnessed in politics. The scale of it, the idea that the man that had won in this presidential campaign an election against John Howard was then going to be disposed of, discarded like an, another course on a lazy Susan in a Vietnamese restaurant. <laughs> the cruelty of it was extraordinary. Yeah, so Malcolm Turnbull also went on to, to pay tribute to the, uh, the Prime Ministership and the contribution of Kevin Rudd. It does mark the end of such a divisive period within the Labor Party, the Rudd-Gillard era now well and truly over as the Labor Party tries to rebuild in opposition. But last night there was uh, nothing but bouquets from his side of politics. Labor governed 
for uh, around about less than one third of the last century. There are only three people who have led Labor to government from opposition. Kevin Rudd, Bob Hawke and Gough Whitlam since the Second World War. That is how significant that victory was. And significant because John Howard, whilst I would have uh, a couple of differences with him, was a very formidable Prime Minister and political leader indeed. Kevin Rudd's tenacity and determination on behalf of the Labor cause was something to behold. I'm very proud to regard myself as a friend of Kevin, if OK. It's quite a ride being a friend of Kevin. He does provide thrills and spills. <laughs> but it's always an honour, as it has been tonight. As well as those, um, that deep understanding of the personal stories connected to the, the issues that he was addressing, he spoke to uh, every expert. He read every piece of work. He asked every question. He investigated every issue as deeply as, we possi as he possibly could. I think um, colleagues will remember that we started to call it Kevidence because it was the most evidence-based approach to these large questions of public policy that we'd ever had in Australia. So the end of a tumultuous era for the Labor Party, the end of a 15-year-long career for Kevin Rudd. And what this means now is a, a by-election in the Brisbane seat of Griffith, the south side of uh, Griffith, an early test for, uh, for both sides, for the new opposition leader, Bill Shorten, and uh, Prime Minister Abbott. Only a couple of months on from the federal election, Nina.